at the premium shop, you can pick one up for $5.79, or like me, be a cheapskate and wait for a 40% off sale. Once you buy it, sell the 50% crew that comes with it, and load the tank with any one of your Soviet light tank crews. Then, buy, or rent some camouflage. It only costs 100 gold for permanent camo, or 10,000 credits for a week rental. Add some inscription for some swag. No need for any permanent equipment, instead, just mount your binox, camo net, and toolbox. Now you're ready to rock. Make sure you load about 50% premium gold ammo, as it struggles to penetrate with its standard AP rounds. The Valentine 2 is a preferred matchmaker tier 4. This means, it only sees tier 4 games. Being top tier, this little tank has very little to fear. You can play aggressively, and pretend to be a fast heavy tank. There is little out there to stop you. Push, and keep pushing. You have excellent reload speed, and you can use that to slowly chip away at your enemy, doing 50 damage every shot. If you have trouble penetrating some enemy armor, just switch to your gold rounds, they only cost 800 credits, and you can easily make up for it with the guaranteed damage you will do. What else is so great with this Valentine 2? Well, it's a light tank that actually is a heavy tank. You can use your armor to bounce shells like a boss. In this clip, I ignore the Covenanter, while I help my platoon may take down this B2, which is one of the toughest tanks in tier 4. Even with gold rounds, I must make sure to shoot its sides to successfully penetrate the armor. The B2 is one of the tanks that the Valentine 2 will not penetrate from the front. So, if you come across a B2, make sure you try to flank it, and don't ever try to go at it alone. Tanks like the M3 Stewart have zero chance against you. You can totally dominate and you should not hesitate to do so. I decide to take out the M2 first, because I know the B2s cannot hurt each other frontally, I turn around and help finish them off from the back. Nothing can outrun your reload speed. Just keep a steady aim, and fire away. There is really not much that can stop you. The Valentine 2 is completely overpowered, and it's fun for some laughs. This is an ace tanker game in Sacred Valley. All I did was hold this corner, there's minimal skill involved, all you need to do is not completely suck. Exercise some caution when you have to face multiple tanks. Let's go into the details of the Valentine 2. This tank has 380 hit points, 40 more than the standard for this tier. It has 60 hull armor all round, and 65 turret armor all round. This is significantly more than other tanks in its tier, and because it also only ever sees a maximum of tier 4 inches its matchup, the Valentine becomes a highly survivable tank. The gun has a 51mm penetration value on standard AP shells, and 84mm on APCR shells. Because the APCR shells are so cheap, you may want to carry more of them to guarantee the 47 average damage. It has a phenomenal rate of fire, reloading every 2.19 seconds. The gun can fully aim in 1.71 seconds, with an accuracy of 0.41 and dispersion of 0.18. This means, you can snapshot, play peekaboo, or snipe from a distance with confidence. With 6 degrees of depression, it is sufficient enough for you to work through it, and a great trainer for gun handling expectations in your future Russian medium tanks. Here's my second ace tanker in 8 games. I think you only need to do 700 damage for an ace tanker medal. You only need 625 damage for purple WN8. This means you only need to damage your enemy about 15 shots. This is stat padding made easy. At a bargain price of 5 whole dollars, you can pad away to your heart's content, or you can platoon up with your buddies in similar tanks like B2s, and have a good laugh as you play John Rambo in tanks, and annihilate everything in sight. Just be sure to watch out for other Valentines, B2s, AMX-40s and Hetzers. These tanks you need to flank, or shoot the flat part of the armor, and definitely use gold ammo on them. Remember that you are in a relatively slow tank, at 32 km per hour forward speed, you really need to think ahead when playing, much like a heavy tank, once you've committed to a certain area of a map, you don't really want to change your mind. 
In conclusion, the Valentine 2 is the best 1000 gold you will spend in this game, guaranteed to bring you loads of fun and laughter, stress free, for those days when regular matchmaker is making fun of you, or when you're down on your win rate luck. Take this baby out, and pretend you're co-starring in First Blood with Sylvester Stallone. Thanks for watching and supporting that boy guru.